Good morning, kids. I am Teacher Lance, and I'm going to be your teacher for today and for the rest of the semester. So, today I would like to congratulate everybody for for leveling up your learning journey. Your learning journey. So, I would also like to welcome you to our science class. I hope that you enjoy the entire semester. All right. So today, for our first day, we are going to learn the scientific method. Okay. So, what is scientific method? Um, what are the steps of uh, what are the steps included in the scientific method, and how are we going to consider if if an activity is a part of scientific method or not? Okay, so those are the things that we are going to study. But before that, we are going to play a game first about living and non-living things. I know that this will be easy for you because you have already learned this one. So let's play first before we study scientific method. All right, are you ready? What we're going to do is to choose from the two answers. Okay, which one is the best answer and which one is the correct answer? So let's play. Select the correct answer. Okay, so what we are going to do is to just click the correct answer and then after that Okay, we're going to push the button Okay, some questions may have multiple answers. So make sure that all of them are selected Okay, so Let's start Choose the correct answer. Is it living or non-living? Um, I think this is living. Let's try. And let's click the submit. Correct. It's a living thing. So next. Choose the correct answer. Um, what is this? It's a spoon. Is this non living or living? Mm, I think it's non living. Let's try this. Alright, this is correct. He is happy now. So let's try the next part. Choose the correct answer. Is this living or non living? What do you think? Mm. Correct, this is a non-living thing. So let's try to submit. Wow, you got the correct answer. The monkey is happy again. Choose the correct answer. What is this? It's a plant or a sapling. Is this a living or non-living thing? Very good. It's a living thing. <laughs> Next one. Choose the correct answer. Mm. Is this a giraffe? Do you think it's a living thing or a non-living thing? Alright. This is a living thing. Choose the correct answer. What is the correct answer? A. Plants cannot grow. B. Plants can grow. What do you think? Correct. Plants can grow and become bigger. <laughs> Choose the correct answer. A rock cannot grow. Or a rock can grow. What do you think? Very good. A rock cannot grow. Next. Next. 
choose two correct answers. We are going to choose two answers. Living things need blank and blank and air to survive. Mm, food, school, house, or water. Two things. Um, what is this? I think the food and two house. Water. Correct. The answer is the answers are food and water. <laughs> Choose two correct answers. Two correct answers. Living things A. Don't need air. B. Grow and change. C. Don't need water. Or D. Can move and breathe. Mm, what is the correct answer? Very good. Living things can grow and change. And living things can move and breathe. Let's check. Correct. Next. Choose two correct answers. A butterfly is a living thing because A. It can move and breathe. B. It can grow and change. C. It doesn't need air. Or D. It doesn't need water. Mm, I think very good. It can move and breathe. And it can grow and change. Let's try to submit. Very good, you, are, you got the correct answer. Next question. Choose two correct a pan, answers. A pan is non-living because A. It cannot breathe. B. It can grow. C. It doesn't need food and water. Uh, food and air. Or D. It needs air. Mm, uh, I think it cannot breathe. And um, it doesn't need food and air. There we go. You got the correct answer. What? Well, you got the correct answer. And that is because of you. Congratulations. You did very well. So now, let's sing the song. The scientific method song.
All right, so in the song, we heard that the scientific methods include some steps, and some of those are we used already in our previous classes, and some are not yet. A while ago, in discovering the living and unliving things, and in deciding which group does an object or a thing belong, we actually used observation. We observed if the thing can grow, if it eats or if it needs food and water, if it, need, if it needs air, and if it can move. If yes, it's a living thing. If no, it's not a living thing. So now, we are going to learn more about the scientific method. The scientific method is a systematic way of working. Here, we can learn new things about science by asking a question, observation, experimentation, and making a conclusion. And some other steps will be discussed more later. The first part is asking a question. Asking a question shows your curiosity about something. The next one is predicting the answer wherein you are going to try to answer your own question. And the next one is Gathering information, here you can use books, internet, and encyclopedias. The next one is studying the information. And the number five is drawing conclusion. In drawing conclusion, you are going to sum up all the information that you gathered in and draw conclusion about your question. Okay, let's discuss first asking a question. Okay? For example, what does a red ant look like? As you can see here, you show the curiosity or you show that you are curious about something or you want to learn about something. And you can show it by asking a question. Number two is predicting the answer. We usually begin it with I think or for me. Like I think a red ant has a red body with feelers, wings, and four legs. So you're going to try to answer your own question. Mm, I think the red ant has mm, what color of the body? I think it's going to be red. Mm, do they have feelers? I think yes. Do they have wings? I think yes. Do they have legs? I think yes. How many legs? I think four. So in predicting the answer, you, we usually use the word I think or the phrase I think. And the next step is gathering information. In gathering information, we observe the red ant. We observe the object that we are curious about or that we want to learn more information about. Like for example, here, since we are curious about the red ant, what we are going to do is to observe the red ant on the mango tree. Since we can see the since we can see the red ant on the mango tree, we are going to a mango tree and look for an example of a red ant. We can also use a magnifying glass so we can see it closer. For the object or or things that are too small, we can use magnifying glass so we can see it closer or we can see it more up close. And in gathering information, we also record what we find and search for more information from other sources. So after observing the object or observing our subject, we are going to record what we what we discovered and write it on a notebook or a paper. And then we are going to look for more information using internet, encyclopedia, or books. In that way, we can make our statements stronger. And the next part is studying the information. Here, we study the information and we we use other sources like what I said earlier. We can use book, encyclopedia, internet, and we can also ask our friends. We can um, 
brainstorm and join together so that we can find more information from others or from other sources. Here, we study the information and find that red ants live on trees. Here, for example, because we are studying about the red ants, we can study more information on the, on the book and look for, uh, for red ants. What, what more information can we take from, from the books about this, about the red ants? And for example, they have a red body with mandibles, feelers, and six legs, and they do not have wings. So this is an example information that we can find in a book or we can search through the internet. And after that, we can now draw a conclusion. Here, we are going to finalize and we are going to finalize our learnings that we got from our study that we started with asking the questions, um, gathering information, studying the information, and now we are going to make a conclusion about that subject. For example, from the study, we found out that the red ants have a red body with mandibles, feelers, and six legs. And we also found out that they do not have any wings. So now we are going to have an exercise. Teacher Lance will show you a picture and then what you are going to do is to check on your book if this is a part of scientific method. And if not, you are going to leave it blank. Please open your book to page 5. Here it is. And let's start with the first question, number one. The first picture, you can see a kid that is asking a question. Here, the girl said that what is in the gift box or what is in the box. If you think that this is a part of a scientific method, you can check it on your book. Number two. Sleeping. Do you think sleeping is part of the scientific method? If you think so, you, are, you can check it on your book. And if you don't think so, you can leave it blank. The next one, you can see a feed that is saying that the fins and tails of fish are used for swimming. So the kid is making a conclusion about the fins and tails of the fish. What she thinks or what she learns about the fins and tails of fish. So do you think this is a part of a scientific method? If yes, you can check it. If not, you can leave it blank. And the next one, the boy is observing a bug. And he said that the ladybug that the ladybug's wings are black and red. So the boy used colors to describe the wings of the ladybug. So now, let's decide if it is part of scientific method or not. Again, if it's part of scientific method, you can just check it. And if not, you can leave it blank. The next one, the boy said, that this is how my group sorts animals. So the boy is presenting to the class about his group and how his group sorts animals. Okay? Here he classifies the animals maybe according to uh, maybe according to what they eat, like herbivore, carnivore, and omnivore. The next one. The two kids are playing and the one said, this is fun. So do you think this is a part of the scientific method? If you think so, you can check it. And if you don't think so, you can leave it blank. So that is the end of our class. So before we say goodbye to each other, let us review first what we have learned from our class for today's class. So today we studied the scientific method. And we also learned that the scientific method has five stages or steps. And the first one is asking a question, which shows curiosity. 
And the second part is um, predicting the answers. Here you can answer your own question and begin with the word I think. And the third part is gathering information, which you can use book, internet, and encyclopedia. And the fourth part is studying the information. Here you can um, collaborate with other friends about the information that you gathered to make your information and your basis stronger. And the last one is making a conclusion or drawing a conclusion. Here you can finalize what you have what you have learned and answer and and give a strong answer about your question. So I hope that you learned something for, from Dieter Land today and I hope that you enjoyed it. So God bless and goodbye. I hope you have a great day ahead. Goodbye and God bless.